Hey there designers, I want to talk to you about how you can use the Pick Edu app to do all kinds of cool things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the Pick Edu app to open it and I'm going to select Freestyle and this is a great way for you to create all kinds of digital posters or graphics, lots of things. So right here it says tap anywhere to add a photo. We're going to start down here at the bottom and we're going to choose a background. Um, you can pick from any of these that are already here, just like that, press done, and now your background is that color. Um, the next thing we might want to add is text. So when you add text, you have to type in this little box here. Okay, and if you press up here where this little palette is, you can press the palette and you can change the color of the text. Um, you can change the color of the background. And you can resize by pinching your fingers in and out. Another thing you might add is a photo. So photos are going to pull right in from your photo reel. And if I wanted my photo to fit in the whole theme here, I can press this little arrow to edit it and I can use different effects, I can add borders, I can also cut it out by pressing the scissors. So here I can um, actually cut out the squirrel. So I'm going to choose people and see what happens. And check this out, it looks like it's going to cut out the actual squirrel just like that. And I can press the check and then it looks like the squirrels on the page. The other thing I can do is I can manually cut it out if I didn't like that. So I could reset it and use my scissors and then draw around the squirrel. And then it'll give me some other options. So this one actually looks a little bit better. And there, my squirrel is right inside of there. Um, okay, some other fun things that we have are stickers. I could add in arrows. I can add in fun little bursts. These are cool to play with. All right. If I want something to go to the back, now, if I want something to go to the back, I just send it to the back and it rearranges it. See how that's happening. Um, the other thing I could add is a web image. So I could use that or I could look for GIFs. GIFs are little objects that move and I just press that little check. Check that guy out. Cute. Um, I can doodle. That means that I could draw. All right, and I can resize by pinching my fingers in and out, and I can add animations. All right, there we go. When I am finished adding all the things that I want to add, including text, I can press done and save it to my library. And that will save it to my photos so that I can find it right inside my photos. And there you have it. Happy creating.